what you have is the, the typical face. And when you turn it on, you get a little flash of light there that indicates the system's turning on. You get a dot and so on. So he, here's where you have a time display. And here's the program that you're running. And you have four buttons here on the side. Uh, up arrow indicates that you're going to turn the system on or you're going to actually change the programs. Uh, there's a pause key, a stop key, and uh, start the system running. So if we do, um, do this, then we'll pick the program. Let's pick program uh, two. All right, and then um, and you can keep, and you can change programs within within a, a sequence while it's running. So then you can pick, then you can hit, hit the start button, and you'll see the lights flashing around, indicating that the system is is running. And then you have the time settings here for uh, how long it's going to run for. So it's set for about 25 minutes. So it's the ca the clock is counting down, and you can watch the clock counting down. And again, you can pause it and it'll stop counting and then press the pause again and it'll get going again. Or you can pause it and you can press the start button again and it'll start, start up again. I'm sorry, I take that back. You press the pause button to get it going again. So if you press pause, you've got to press it again to get it reinitiated. And of course, you can stop the program anytime. It'll zero out. Uh, but then you're going to have to start over again. No, normally, you can, you can just press the start button again and it will start counting down again. That's basically it. Um, and it runs itself for the whole program. You don't have to use that, that whole amount of time, uh, that 25 minutes. Uh, on the other hand, when it finishes running, then you can um, uh, basically press the stop button and then press the start button again and then run it again for another period of time if you'd like to. Uh, there's a, there's a on-off button at the back of the unit. And if you want to stop running it, then you, you can just press the, the, the on-off button, and that's it. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, field intensity of the uh, Curatron uh, pad, the mattress pad. So this is a magnetic field detector, and we've programmed in a, a program. It's running now, program four, and uh, so the control unit is already running this applicator. And again, we're going to put this on the surface of the, of the pad, and you can hear it buzzing. So this is the frequency that it's producing. And as we move it around on the surface of this pad, you can see the magnetic field is very uniform. Uh, there are other applicators that I've tested with other systems where the field varies tremendously over the surface. Now the, this is the h depth of the field when you move this away and up. So you can see it goes up about three or four feet, five feet at least and you can still hear it. Same thing happens on the edges. So when you move away from, this, from, the, from the edge, you still have a fairly large field on the sides. So again, you can have a fairly large person on here that's, who spills over on the edges, and they're still going to get a lot of stimulation. So if you happen to have your upper back here and your sacrum here, then your, your knees are still going to get a significant amount of treatment at the very edges there. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you the um, field intensity on the uh, coil applicator, the small pad applicator for the uh, Curatron. Um, I also demonstrated for you the um, mattress pad. And uh, you can see when I do this that you'll see that the intense field intensities on the this small pad, the small coil, are much higher. So um, the program is already running. Let me turn on the magnetic field detector. Okay, and you can you can hear how strong that is, and it is stronger than the on the body pad, and you know we knew that with the information we got from uh, Curatron, and again when you go above the system you can go very high before it drops off significantly. So usually typically on the other side of a body, if you're laying this against your back, and the front of the body is still going to get a significant amount of stimulation. The magnetic field also. Um, changes uh, with distance on the sides. In other words, you still get a huge area of treatment even off to the sides, even though it's just this square piece that goes on your back, you know, you're getting a substantial part of the body otherwise. So let's say you put this on your uh, sacrum. So if you put this on your sacrum, then, you know, you're going to get the upper chest even up to the neck to some extent. It's a low intensity, but you're still going to get quite a bit. 
So the same thing applies from below. You know, you're going to get down towards your knees with some degree of stimulation, but the highest stimulation clearly is going to be right on the surface of the pad itself. Thank you.